Obesity is now considered the second leading cause of cancer after tobacco. Yes, that's true. Because the excess body fat does not just sit there. It acts like an active endocrine organ. It produces hormones like estrogen, insulin, and other inflammatory cytokines, all of which can produce cell proliferation, impair the immune surveillance, and disrupt the normal DNA repair mechanisms. Studies show that obesity is now linked to at least 13 different types of cancers, which include postmenopausal breast cancer, endometrial cancer, colorectal cancer, pancreatic cancer, and even liver and kidney cancers. In fact, women who are obese are at least four to five times at a higher risk of developing an endometrial cancer. But the good news is that even a 5 to 10 percent decrease in the body weight can significantly lower inflammation, regulate the hormone levels in the body, and can reduce the risk of developing cancers. Because prevention starts with lifestyle. Maintaining a balanced nutrition, regular physical activity, having an adequate sleep, and avoiding excess alcohol or processed foods. I'm Dr. Jeshra Saxena, cancer surgeon. And when we talk of cancer, it's not just about detection, but it's also about the choices that we make every day.